into existence a monopoly for them, whether it be in the energy industry, whether it be in the medical industry, you name it. And people keep saying, well, we gotta have reform, reform, reform. Well, if you have all of that centralized bureaucracy and power, it is going to be purchased. The point of the gift of the Founding Fathers was their understanding of that, and that's why they wanted it well, decentralized for sure, but a very weak central government. And one of the checks against the power that we see being exhibited today was the Tenth Amendment. That's why we're here, the concept of nullification. In fact, I think I'm going to nullify the FDA right now. This is uh, silver. It's in the colloidal silver family, silver hydrosol I use. And that stuff in there can nullify any virus like that, any bacteria, even antibiotic-resistant bacteria, everything which is, by the way, created by modern medicine. It can nullify fungal species. It can facilitate immune enhancement. It can restore and re regenerate tissue. It can nourish the nervous system because there are two receptor sites on the nerve cell for silver. So I've seen it reverse MS. Not exclusively, but there are other things to go. I don't want to oversimplify this, but I don't have a lot of time to go into that. But I can tell you that this is colloidal silver, and I may be able to tell you that it can help your immune system. But if I tell you all the things I just told you, now suddenly it's an unapproved new drug. I'm not asking for permission. This is part of the growing up time, right? We gotta be grown ups again here because we've been behaving like a bunch of little kids who can't take care of their, ourselves. We, we don't know, we need an expert to tell us. We need approval. Now, I, I'm not speaking so much to you, but maybe this is something that you're, like, because you're living differently now, although you may have a great deal of suspicion about this crazy homeopathic guy that does radio shows. But the reality is, all I'm trying to do, if I'm trying to do anything, is inspire you to recognize your appropriate relationship to a servant government. And that the way they've enslaved you is to buy, by robbing you of your energy. And the way they keep that energy flowing is through fear. The fear that, well, without us, you're gonna get cancer and die, right? When quite the opposite in this man's case was the fact that he was not aided, there was no safety net for him, for his cancer, and yet he's gonna live because of that. And a Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez, who I mentioned earlier in New York City of all places, they were going to study his, his, it was just an amazing sabotage that went on. They could not allow people to know that they could cure, you know, the most, the worst kind of cancer without government sanctioned intervention. But the fact is all the healing we need is right here inside you, inside me. I mean, it's literally what we do with our life, why we're here, understanding that relationship and basically unplugging from that so-called energy drain. But the fear is a big one, and I recognize it. I recognize it in terms of the physical body that I was given. Because of my dependence on modern medicine, because of my dependence on government medicine, it was a frightening, frightening day, when that, that day that I woke up and recognized that I could no longer rely on those that really didn't have my best interest in heart, really didn't know what to do to help me get well. But it was also 